receive my greetings from wherever you are. So today we're going to talk about a WQR, a PQR, and a WPS. Actually, we're not going to be talking about a WQR because I believe last time we spoke about a WQR. So what you need to know is a WPS is a world procedure specification. It's a blueprint which gives guidance to the welder on how to weld to do a specific welding uh, 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 with a specific material or alloy. Right. And then a WQR, a WQR is a welder qualification record. It's a document that specifies, that indicates that the welder has the ability, okay, has the ability, he has the understanding to work within a specified WPS. And then a PQR is a report, PQR is a procedure qualification, uh, procedure qualification record. It's a report of tests and which test demonstrates that the WPS that has been written is worthy, all right, is worthy to be used for under a specified uh, standard code. Standard code, as I said here, it might be ISO, it might be AWS, it might be uh, 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 ASME, it might be um, uh, the, the, the Canadian Welding Bureau, it might be uh, uh, the, the European Committee uh, standards, right? So it might be that. So, okay, then from there, after this has been done, so this WPS can be used, all right? First of all, you need to know that a WPS is a document that allows repeatability of a specification. So what I'm talking about repeatability of a specification is how they're going to apply the procedure. So here, yeah, for, for a WPS to be uh, accredited, to have the, the accreditation, for the WPS to have the accreditation, this needs to be supported by PQR. We're talking about tests that are done according to specific standards. According to specific standards, okay? So the standard might be ASME, right, which is American Society of Mechanical Engineers. It might be uh, AWS, which is American Welding Society. It might be ISO right international standard organization or it might be a canadian bureau of welding okay so now with this from the we proceed with the test so as for instance if we have to talk about let's say uh, uh, uh iso 15614-1 which is a pqr which is a pqr code for um for 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 fillet world uh bat world i mean as well here if you can check that on my screen if you can check there on my screen the so this is what is telling you so for iso what you need to do you need to do for a radiographic examination you need to do uh two transverse tensile uh tensile test and uh uh four transverse uh Bend test as well as two sets of impact, not forgetting the macrostructure as well as hardness. So that is that the basics. So if you have to go in more details, you need to go on to check on the footnotes A, B, C, D, whatever it's written there. So for instance, when you have to do it according to ask me, what you should do is you just go for four bands, four bands, with side bands or roots bands as well as face bend okay and it goes with uh, two tensile tests so for a wps we need to have a welder to be part of it and then a welder which already been already been accredited uh by passing a wqr which is a welding a welder qualification record so a WPS actually for a welder to be part of a, WQ, a WPS, you need to pass a WQR, which demonstrates that the welder has the understanding and the ability to work within a specified WPS. Right. So it's very important to know how these things work. 
because we want to talk about WPS, PQR, WQR. We're talking about drains. We're talking about wealth. Nowadays, the world is the, the, the biggest part of joint that's being used in this world. So we need to know how that is being done so that when you're exposed to it, you know how it works. So you know how it works. I'm going to give a small resume here. So ask me, 9 requires for a bat word, a bat word, or groove word, groove word, I'm talking about full penetration, complete penetration, complete penetration joint. So it requires two tensile, two tensile, sorry, four bend, right? There might be side bend, four of them. There might be two face bend, two face bend, and two bend. So now AWS, which is American Society, American American Welding Society, requires two tensiles, two tensiles. Four bands, which might be four side bands, two face and roots. For, but AWS gives a, a window to other addition that will be developed later in another video, of course. So I saw requires for a basics of two tensiles, four bands, which might be. Four side bends, two face, two roots, by a total of four, one macro, right? Two set of impact, depending if there is provision of impact in the specified material that is being used here, and then plus hardness. Hardness also, it excludes group 1.1 right as you can go in footnotes to know more about how it is to know more about how it is right so yeah so basically this is how it is right so this is how it is so it was a great pleasure of mine to share this video with you i hope that you guys gonna enjoy it so we have already enjoyed it and uh, as i've already been saying we're gonna be sharing a lot of stuff here uh, mathematics, uh, science. So, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because you're gonna miss. You're gonna miss a lot. And uh, for now, I'm gonna ask you to take care of yourselves. And uh, see you for the next video. Cheers, bye.